good morning everyone. It's Steve Verrier with Lake State Mortgage, FloridaMortgageCenter.com and uh, you should recognize Danielle D'Souza with Palm Coast and the Beaches Real Estate. And uh, it's, it's a beautiful day so I decided to take a little R&R what with the hectic uh, days of the election being over. And I came down to visit her at her new office here down at the beach. I mean we're still with Palm Coast and the Beaches. Yeah. Oh, but. Yeah. Uh, now you're uh, over here. This is the Arthur Ruttenberg model? Yes, over at Beach Haven. Mm -hmm. What's three, the address? Three Smiling Fish Lane. Right. So I'm here two days a week. And you should come check it out it's and really come pretty. visit her here. Not only that, it looks like this development here has really been built up in oh, the last two years. The builders have been crazy. very active. And this is a lovely beachside community. It's just south of Marineland. So, uh, you know, if you're ever taking a trip like up to the farmer's market or something in Marineland, you can always uh, pop in here as well. So, um, last year, uh, last month you joined us to, with For a little Halloween. bit do-it-yourself Halloween tips. Mm -hmm. And I wanted you to come back this month um, and give us an idea of how you might set up your... Um, house with the Thanksgiving fall harvest type theme mm -hmm. um, you know I mean because it's it's it is holiday season uh, despite the fact that it looks like it's the summer mm -hmm. but it's the holiday season and you know we have get-togethers we have people come over family friends or we go over their house and it's nice to bring gifts and things of that nature so what do you recommend uh, some fall uh, Thanksgiving themed easy things to create that are less expensive right so know? budget and do-it-yourself type right. of stuff mm -hmm. uh, so there's give a give thanks tree okay. and this one I think is kind of interesting because you can maybe incorporate your kids into it it's interactive okay. yeah so you can get some different colors of paper and cut out construction some. paper I would yeah, yeah. Okay. and uh, cut some different maybe leaves or different shapes uh-huh and then yeah we don't um, let the kids cut them give them scissors well right? with <laughs> there, there's like safety scissors now but um, ah. and then uh, okay. some little ribbon and then as your guests come over they can write something on this particular ornament little notes a little note and then ah. with the date and then you can hang it um, so you'd get some tree branches in a ceramic so this actually becomes a, a, like a, a keepsake, keepsake item yeah. yeah yeah okay that you can hold on to and right. um, even uh, bring bring it out again. I mean, the tree can grow in the future. Sure, if you, add you put some more. branches in mm -hmm. there and a little pitcher, and you can put those foam things or sand to hold the branches in, and then okay. people hang right. it on the branches. Well, that's pretty cool. Seems yeah. easy enough. All right. Yeah, yeah. What else do you have? Thankful wreath. Okay. So um, it's almost like a give thanks tree, but it's a wreath. A wreath. Yes. Okay. All right. How so, does that work? So you set, um, so it's, uh, let me think here. Decorate a homemade or purchased evergreen wreath with roses, right. pine cones, berries, champagne, grapes, and hydrangeas. I know if you're doing it with flowers, I mean, aren't they going to die? Well, you have to um, keep the water, like water picks over the stems. Okay, all right, all right, and that, that would look cool. So and they can pretty, hang them up on the door easy. or, yes. or yeah. something like that. All right, that's cool. Excellent, excellent. All right. Centerpieces, mantles, tabletop things, you do stuff like that? There's, yeah, there's a pretty centerpiece or mantle decoration by layering seasonal materials like corn kernels in the bottom, mm -hmm. burgundy celosia, okay. orange bittersweet, so it's almost like a potpourri, uh, pale right. green dried hops and a couple of brown oak leaves in a gla in uh, glass candle like, holders. Um, all right, so that's like that thing you see. It looks like a horn, maybe some one of those things. It's a horn and it spills out and like all the, the squashes and the mm, things like that. Maybe similar, but it's more call? of like a Corn glass cornucopia glass candle is? holder. Yeah. Okay. And then you're gonna have all that stuff in there. All right, all right. And Very then cool. there's um, you can put a um, top with ro rust color pillar candle. Right. But you probably should use a battery candle battery power because candle, that stuff is candles. all really dry and yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You don't want yeah. to torch the house uh, during the holidays. That would be great. No, mm -hmm. not. <laughs> all right, what else do we got? Anything else? Acorn tree, a coat of paint. Trans so really, it should be like spray paint. Okay. Um, and you can so spray acorns. So you want we want to collect acorns. Yes. Okay. Hey. And acorns. um, they can turn into tiny ornaments them from a branch with twine loops glued to All the right, caps. I get it. So you spray paint them different colors and, and, and hang then them. And use them. Just like the Give Thanks tree, you set up 
an, another type of tree like that and hang. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty yeah. cool. And uh, I guess you can always color coordinate the paint with the things, other things in the room and stuff. Right, yeah. right. Great. So, yeah, and, you know, if you guys have any tips, there's so artsy. Artsy, craftsy stuff. We love yeah. that. We love that around here. And, uh, hey, we love being down at the beach. So don't forget to come down here and visit Danielle at uh, this beach haven, lovely beach haven. And make sure you Ruttenberg call Steve home. for mortgage. He does all kinds. Yeah. Oh, do don't, uh, don't forget to let him know. We, we recently moved our RO yeah. office across the street from Palm Coast and the beaches. Uh, now we're, we're renting the old uh, Rain Tree Mortgage location, which is the back location at uh, Palm West Real Living's real estate office located at 2 Florida Park North. Um, so right a, little the yeah, a little closer to the new island walk and everything. So mm -hmm. uh, definitely come check us out at the new office. Have a cup of coffee with me, on me, and all that. Well, no, don't pour it on me. <laughs> with you. Yes, have it with me. Anyway, enjoy the weekend. Thank you. Have See a you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.